In Christianity, it says in the Bible that Jesus will return. What if he already has? What would you do? Would you welcome him? Or would you allow history to repeat itself and mock him just as before? It's said that Jesus lives within all of us, in which case we're all children of God. If he does or has returned, what will he look like and how will he be? The song by Alanis Morissette asks, what if God were one of us, just a slob like one of us? It stands to reason that he would want to blend in with the here and now in today's world, and yet he would probably be different and stand out from the crowd. He could even be a she this time round. How would we know? Jesus taught us all to be loving and giving. He blessed the poor and gave us teachings, the word of God. If Jesus lives within all of us, then we have the knowledge to save ourselves, and it could be said that he has already returned. We just have to put his teachings into practice. When Jesus was here, he lost his temper a few times. Well, he was in human form. He found it hard to control his anger when he saw what was going on in the temples. They were being greedy with money and turning to corruption, which he exposed. <laughs> well, he wouldn't find much change in today's society then, would he? However, strangely enough, the corruption in our modern day world is now being exposed and is no longer hidden. Many places of religion, such as churches, are beautiful buildings. We can appreciate them for their marvellous designs and architecture. We can appreciate the amazing art and statues inside them. All of them have a story to tell. However, these buildings are just man-made structures and some of them lack the presence of love inside. Religion has been the cause of much destruction and conflict in the past. Different religions have fought against each other, believing that their religion is the only way. The one thing that all religions have in common is love for one another. That's what we should be focusing on, no matter what religion we believe in or were born to. For me personally, I find love, or the presence of God, the great creator, or whichever word you choose, to be more present in nature. I can appreciate the love and the creation with the natural world rather than in man-made structures, but that's just me and each to his or her own. A few people have tried to tell us that Jesus lives within us. One particular gentleman was publicly ridiculed for years and banned from social media with everyone laughing at him for doing just that. He was cancelled for misinformation and hate speech. How can talking about Jesus be hate speech? How can you cancel and ban a person from talking about love? This man is speaking his truth. He's not harming anyone. And if you don't want to listen to what he has to say, then don't listen. There's no doubt that he's owed a big public apology. He talks of other things too, such as beings from another existence. Many people laugh at this and say he's crazy. If he was right about Jesus, then why shouldn't he be right about other things too? We just need to keep an open mind, take what we find to resonate with us and leave the rest. If you don't believe in what someone is saying, then it doesn't hurt or damage you, does it? So just let it be. Move on and focus on something that does resonate with you. Whatever you choose to believe in, as long as love is present in your heart, then you're speaking your truth. And there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with love.